Okay. 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 Right. Who wants to start? I'll start. Go ahead, lady. So, John Lynch. That's me. John Lynch. That's me. And uh, I, I thoroughly now, absolutely, completely believe that John Lynch is, is, I think Christy Moore needs to move aside here. Yeah, but watch out. I love Christy. I have the utmost respect for the man and long may he live and be a troubadour. But there's a new troubadour in town and John Lynch is one. There and, he is, uh, look. There he is. So it's been great because we've kind of, over a, a period of time, we've developed this very nice organic process of making records. We call it the Tuesday Night Club. And that's kind of what it is. And it's like, and our wives let us off, which is fantastic. Yeah. Which is really a big Get a benefit. pass, yeah. <laughs> so, three, a four. <laughs> Twenty-two. Uh, the genesis of that song came from the centenary celebrations from the foundation of the state. The foundation of the state was 1922, of course. And we always thought, like, how far did we come from 1922 to 2022? Not very far. Right? So we got about halfway there and we gave it away to the Europeans. And now we're just a department of Europe. So that's really what we are. And like, I mean, you look at the, the Irish people. Uh, you just can't afford houses and like, I mean our government that we have are just you know employees of, of the European state so um, and the whole EP then became the name 1922 because I first heard Liam Weldon's music and he wrote Dark Horse on the Wind as an anti-1916 rising song which is the opposite of what was going on at the time 1966 and uh, you know the dark horse in the wine can be anything. It can be your own alter ego. It can be, you know, your ambitions, anything you want to take over. But it also shows that those who died for liberty, you know, what did they die for really? what, when we see what Ireland is today? So that's really the, the foundation of, of, the, of the idea from 1922. happened over the last couple of years yeah. and John's been very focused on developing the sound and that's what we're into we're developing yeah. it's not just we don't want to be you know I think we're kind of with new tra you know, with tra tradition isn't about looking back to the old it's about kind of you know inventing the new in lots of ways and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to just bring this kind of bardish storytelling tradition to the public but just kind of trying to modernize it to an extent as well and trying to add ambient sounds and yeah. atmospheres and samples and because mm -hmm. what already brings to this is the ambience you know it's the we call it the seagulls the seagulls <laughs> i'm looking for the seagulls here where's the seagulls where's going? put your seagull effect on there already it's gonna take a while to find it because dark horse in the wind it's written by Liam Weldon, as you know. But he was a, a traditional singer and he had no accompaniment. And uh, one day I was fighting with this thing to try and tune it. The seagull? No, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I came across this tuning, which is an odd tune. It wouldn't be a normal. And I come in here on the Tuesday night club, myself and Larry, because it's a sale.
to record something that's just you're watching the clock all the time and there's that pressure and you tend to end up with something that you're not happy with but uh, it wasn't like that here in the studio hub so we just let it evolve and I'm torn into this I'm very happy with it Now the flames reach high, reach for the sky, and they seed our nation's soul in the ashes of our broken dream. We've lost sight of our goal. really well uh look at me and i had a, a situation where you know i had a had time on my hands and i was able to make some music you know and of course i went with this whole idea oh, i'm just gonna pick up the guitar and i'm gonna play and i'm gonna record it and that's the way it's gonna be a bit more to it than that you know but having said that i've, I've done it the other way as well uh, i've done it the hard cold clinical way with big studios and engineers but there was something different you have you have to get that chemistry with with the right producer and the right environment. studio in, uh, in Dalkey at the time and then the game changer was when we came here to the vault uh, it was just open the room we had no time restrictions and we had full you know artistic uh, we were open to any ideas and in fairness you know we, we seem to have a match with the genres <laughs> as well you know doing live gigs as I said from the artist development point of view I've always played music you know growing up I've always written music but then you fall out all over it then when life takes over and, and then you have life events then they might bring you back into that world it's what you should have always been doing um, but you know you have to you have to meet the right people to what they have um, and that's what happened there and tell us when uh, the EP is out, John. The EP is out on the 4th of August, and the EP is a culmination of, of, of a lot of. You know, uh, I, I tried to steer away from the political arena, but it's very hard to avoid it these days. Becoming politically aware. <laughs> become politically aware. Become 
politically aware of the injustices that it faces a lot of people. And, and folk music was always that type of genre that you could uh, you could narrate what was going on in current affairs. And uh, you know, while we still have the ability to for free free speech, uh, I'm going to use the medium that we have available uh, just to keep that tradition going and to comment on what's happening today in, in Ireland and, and further field. But as well as that, it's a bit of fun. So. Victoria.